Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions, your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nice having you in class again today. How have you been? We are going to look at um, aspect maps today. We are going to see how we can um, use um, QGIS to create um, aspect maps. And then um, the data set we are going to use is actually um, a digital elevation model. So it's actually or they are a type of thematic map that show the direction of show the orientation or direction that a slope faces in a given area, right? Good. Now, you know, it's a type of map that um, commonly, that's commonly used in GIS to represent the orientation of a slope or the direction of the direction a slope is facing. Now, it's typically measured in degrees from 0 to 360 with 0 degrees being due north, 90 east, 180 south, and then 70 west, right? Good. Now, these are some... Um, description we can get for what for what they are now let's now proceed to getting the data set so um, we are trying to bring in our digital elevation model so we go to layer we go to add layer we go to what add raster layer good um, so under the data source manager we browse for our uh, them right good so um these are some of the digital elevation models that we have downloaded them um, on the channel so let's go with um, sheet one. So we just um, open that. Good. So it has been indicated. We can just add and then let's say close. All right. So we have a digital elevation model. And then we can see the range of elevations that we have here. Right. Good. The next thing is for us to assess what the aspect. So we come to processing tools. Or let's say processing toolbox rather. Then we type um, aspect, right? Good. It's already here. So let's say we have um, ASP. Good. Now we need them um, under JIDA. We need them um, raster analysis. And then we need the aspects under raster analysis under JIDA, right? Good. So we just double click on that. Good. So um, the aspect, um, should I call it raster analysis window is open. And we need to impute the parameters. So the first thing is the impute layer, and by default, the digital elevation model on our layer panel has been imputed there. Right? Good. We are basically going to leave all other um, parameters um, as default. However, we are going to find, we are going to save the output somewhere. Right? Good. So we click on this, then we click on save to file. Good. So we are working on the folder called aspect. So let's just call this um, aspect. Um, let's call it aspect map, right? Good. So now the file is actually a T file. Oh, that's where we want to leave it for now. So we click on save. And since we don't want to modify any other parameter under this um, aspect, we can click on run. So while it's running, you know, the application sometimes can be used, you know, let's come down somewhere around, yeah, good. Let's say you're working on a project to identify potential locations for a solar farm. As part of the project, you have generated an aspect map of the study area and you have classified the maps into four classes using the following scheme, right? Good. Now, what it means is that the interpretation is that you could identify the yellow area represents slopes that faces the west. So by the time um, you go through this um, brief description we have on our screen here, let's maximize that. By the time you go through the brief description we have on our screen here, you will be able to appreciate what the um, application of um, aspect maps can be in your potential location for a solar farm, right? Good. So the different colors represent a um, different direction of slope and it means um, different things as regards um, where you can um, locate what your solar farm. Good, so um, the algorithm aspect finished, and then we can see the aspect map um, loaded on our layer panel, right? Good, we can see the aspect map loaded on our layer panel. And then we can see the, the angles as it was stated from the literature we read some minutes ago. From 0 to 360 so we have about 359.56 approximately 360 right good so now we are now going to do reclassification of these values you know by merely looking at it um, as it is being stated from our 
um, from our definition earlier a thematic map that shows the direction or orientation a slope faces in a given area right but now maybe because it's under black and white we are unable to appreciate the colors right so there are different ways we can carry out the reclassification of the colors however we are going to use what the raster calculator so we come down to raster and then we go to what we go to raster calculator right good so now um under the raster calculator window we are going to do some stuff that requires a little bit of patience now the raster bands are yeah, the rest the result layer the operator then the expression builder now under the expression builder that is where the large yeah a greater part of the work will be done right now these two raster bands represent the two raster layer we have on our layer panel However, remember that we are working with this um, raster on that score map at one, right? Because that's actually the aspect map we are using for today's video, right? So that's the. So when you don't click on it, it will actually appear on your expression builder. However, that's not what we need. What we need is that we want to reclassify this our raster based on four classes, so that we know that by the values that it has been classified on, I mean this aspect map. We can now make decision to maybe help in uh, whatever project we are trying to, you know, carry out. So for that purpose, we have actually a rough work here. Yeah? Now, when we are producing or let's say creating the content, we use a different um, name for the aspect map. However, we can actually change it by using a few let's say okay let's just double click on that and let's have this control c then let's come back to this control h right that's and find and replace so we are finding okay we are replacing it with what we just copied and then we are finding this which is the rough we used on the previous um, expression and then we just paste it there then we say replace all right good so we have something like that now we have the right um, expression we are going to use for our classification we are going to explain that as we go to the expression builder so now let's paste that there good you can see that then um, the expression is valid if we try to make an alteration you will see expression invalid right good now what this simply means is that from this um, expression builder we are trying to classify our aspect map into four classes so we are saying when the aspect value is equal to 360 or when the value is equal to or less than 90 we are assigning a class value one to it right we are multiplying it by one then we come down to the second line we are saying when the aspect map when the aspect value rather is greater than or equal to 90 and when the the value is less than 180 we are assigning what a class value 2 to it right same thing coming down to the third one which is the third line when the aspect map is equal to or that um, less than or equal to your greater than or equal to sorry when it's greater than or equal to 180 and then the, the value is also less than 270 we are um, assigning a class value 3 to it same thing for a third line when it's greater than or equal to 270 and the aspect map is less than 360 and the value is less than 360 we are assigning what a class value 4 to it which means we are trying to classify our aspect map into four classes so um, as you can see pay attention to the parentheses now this um, first parenthesis okay let's come down to the inner parenthesis right now this inner parenthesis closes this first expression then this other parenthesis is actually working with this or this um, outer bracket covers the whole of the expression so immediately you alter one you render your expression invalid as you can rightly see so it's very very important that um, you pay attention to your syntaxes and then you also pay attention to your operators right so you don't um, run into an expression that is invalid next thing is for us to either create on the fly raster instead of writing on a dix or we actually write it on a dix but i will um, suggest you write on a dix so we browse so
So let's call this um, aspect um, underscore reclassified, right? Let's call this reclassified. Good. So we click on save. Since um, we have been able to build our expression under the raster calculator, we can decide to click on OK. Good. That's the progress. Now, while that is progressing, let's now come to this particular expression. Now, we see this is good and this needs improvement. Now, on this one, we can see that we actually we are not paying much attention to our parentheses. So when we run this at first, we, we are running into um, an error message, right? Good. So that's why we said it needs improvement. It wasn't bad, not too bad, but we ran into some error, which we had to now improve to get um, this particular one, right? Good. And you can see the different classes. 0 to 360, 90 to 180, 180 to 270, then to 70 to 360, right? Good. We have our aspect um, reclassified, and then we can see it from what? 1 to 4. Now, for us to have um, a very good, let's say, pictorial representation of what we have done, we can decide to uncheck some of these. We can decide to uncheck some of these. For us to have a very good pictorial representation of what we've done, double click on that. Either you double click or you right click and then you select properties. So we now come down to symbology, then under symbology, the render type, we go to palleted slash and unique values. And then what it means is that we are trying to classify or let's say we are trying to give the symbology based on the different um, unique values, right? So now let's classify that. Good, we have one to four, and I think um, one represents um, north, two represents um, east, right? This is um, south, if I'm not making a mistake, then this should be west based on the classification we are using. So, depending on the criteria, the data, and then whatever you have with you. That to now determine what you are trying to get right, so we can just um, apply that, and then we can see that um, our aspect map has been what has been created somewhere there. Good, so we can see the aspect map has been created. So when we zoom in, we will be seeing different um, color graduations that um, we have selected. So this is an um, identify, right? Identify feature. So let's see one of the pixels there. Band two. That should be east, right? Good. Let's see. This looks like green. So that should be band four, right? Good. So let's see another color somewhere. So basically, this is how you carry out what um aspect. Uh, this is how you create your aspect map, and then this is also how you carry out what. Um, aspect map um, reclassification using QGIS. So if you have any question, especially on the expression builder or maybe um, any other part of the video, do not hesitate to contact us and then we are going to get back to you as soon as possible. We are going to leave the expression on the description section of this video so perhaps you can check it out by yourself and see how it goes. So until we see you on our next video, ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time. Now, this particular area that is colored white is actually a no value area because it should be good. No data. Yeah, it should be zero, right? Good. So it does not have any data ranging on our what on our classification, right? Good. So we are going to see you on our next video. Until then, keep staying safe and then have a very good time. Bye.